and I'm trying to be as consistent as I'm trying to be as consistent as possible with these uploads but yeah something that people don't exactly want to talk about but deep inside they want to talk about is salary in any field this is not even specific to the IT space this is any field that you're working on you want to make sure you're not being underpaid you want to make sure that you're exhausting every opportunity available to you i'll mainly start with ballparks now these are salaries that maybe you could expect at the beginning salaries that you would expect in the middle and what to do if you're offered an opportunity you want to take it should you ask for a raise should you negotiate my experience was as much as you have your degree you're excited you're like Ooh, you have this mentality that jobs will just come from wherever just you'll just have so many to pick from but unfortunately in most cases some people that happens for them and they're lucky but in some cases you don't have that option you have to kind of go out there prove your worth do test after test especially in the software development space so in my case I finished school I had to put applications out there it gets to a point where it gets so frustrating sometimes you get you hear back but in most cases you don't hear back anything I'll actually do a video I think after this I'll do a video about my whole application process anyway guys don't forget to like this video subscribe if you're not yet subscribed I'm trying to hit max I'm trying the next goal is a hundred subscribers then after that maybe 1,000 subscribers anyway back to the salary point I finally got the opportunity so my first salary if I'm just to be upfront with it was six thousand and just to put all that in perspective six thousand is not anything especially if you live in Cape Town it so helped me that at that point I still had my parents to help me a bit and what helped me at that point is my place was six thousand rand on the dot rent so pretty much all my salary for the my first six months went directly into paying rent then my parents would just send me a little for just upkeep and I honestly did not have a problem with that I was just happy to be given the opportunity I was so positive I was excited to get into work the culture was amazing everything was so so good especially in the first six months I've just moved to a new city I'm living my dream because as a person that's into photography and all the good stuff and traveling and seeing new things Cape Town is just perfect but I was living on a budget not a problem work was a lot of fun I was enjoying what I was doing because I started out as a software developer but usually that's not the case some people get lucky and the starting salary is like 10,000 10,000 between 15 that's the usual starting and mind you I started a few years ago so things definitely change and adjust Yes, I worked so hard I made sure that I was seen that I could see that I was putting in effort and then my contract was extended so hence with an extension of contract I got a new salary uh, figure which was amazing so then we were bumped up I think at that point to 10 so six after six months you get that bump to 10 you feel in a way this is that, that innocence when you're just out of school where anything is good anything makes you happy anything like ah you feel like on top of the world because at that point now i didn't really have to depend on my parents at all i could pay my rent that was six thousand at a point and i could and now the tax was a little bit uh, but i would still have a lot a good chunk of money left over and what helped is I was staying next to my workplace so hence I did not have transport costs or anything of that sort so the remainder of the money all went to like groceries paying for maybe electricity you know, like just a few things and maybe once in a while go out with friends uh, or from work or any other thing like that so I was I was happy I was in a good space that's why they say you don't know what you don't know because at that time I did not look out there I didn't see um, what salaries were out there we were all young excited to get into it to be given a chance that pretty much we could actually work for free but especially in those next six months that period was very enlightening because us as starters 
initially no one wants to talk about this salary like mm -hmm. everyone gets the not you speculate maybe someone else got higher than you you know maybe you got lower but i feel like let me not ask but the more you get into the system the more the wiser you become and sometimes it's actually good especially amongst your peers to have a little bit of these conversations to just know where you all stand what's out there as well because that's the thing with a lot of companies a lot of companies their whole goal is to cut costs they will not go out of your way to overpay you or to pay you well so if you accept it happy they're like oh perfect this person is so happy with the sal with the salary they're getting but you have to really look out for yourself especially when you're getting started so my advice which i learned in that next six months which is very crucial that i wish i had known but I, i'm like maybe it will help someone who's getting started or just to get enlightenment make sure if you've gone through the hustles of interviews and you've been given the offer well and good you say you're, you're thankful all the good stuff try to see if you can not negotiate that initial offer there's no harm in hearing a no back you've probably gone through the interview process you've heard so many no's that you're like what's another rejection going to hurt but the thing you're going to beat yourself up later on is not asking it also helps when you visit sites like Payscale or Glassdoor and see what are people with your job title in that particular city being paid. So just to see where you lie. And if they say not to your request to bump that up, that's not a problem. If it's something that you enjoy to do, put your heart into it. Show them that you deserve to be here. You earn your sport. You're worthy of other opportunities coming to you. And you're also open at some point after six months or even a year, if especially if you're between that 10 to 15,000 range that usually people start with. Between six months and a year, you can actually start to initiate that conversation. After you've started to build some relationships, you've started to, like, it takes a lot of courage. It's something that you have to be bold. You have to put yourself out there. Your future self will thank you. When you accept the offer, usually they send it to you via email. You can say, thank you so much for this offer. And so I'm highly appreciative. Then maybe in the next paragraph, I'd like to inquire if this offer is open for negotiation. And that would be the first step to either get a yes or a no. If the reply is a yes, it is up for negotiation, then they can ask, how much are you thinking? So the ball can be in your court. You'll have to actually provide them with what your required ask is, and then the negotiation start. Try to be as reasonable as possible. So if you give you a 10, you can say, 15 because usually you take it a bit but not too high sometimes they do give you what you ask then sometimes they can say okay let's take it down to maybe 13 so it's a win-win for you after you've been in a job for a while and it's just like things are pulling you here and there you have things to take care of the lack of enough funds or pay can start to affect your life your can start to affect even your work life things like that when you get frustrated that you can't make ends meet that much so it sips into work so you have to think about your future self as well don't think only about that moment over the next six months think that if i'm to stay with this salary for the full year will i be happy an extra two thousand goes a long way but if they say no not a problem there is hardly any job that will rescind their offer that will take back their offer just because you are asking if that offer is open for negotiation that's the thing people don't know they think what if i look greedy what if i look bad companies actually expect you to ask those things sometimes it's a permanent employment and um and permanent appointments, it's, it's fine because that you don't have to renew the contract. But after the first year, if you feel you've been doing great, usually a lot of these companies, every after a year, there's a salary review. So you can have a discussion with your manager or, or something like that, where they review your performance over the past year. And that's why you also have to put the work in. So that's why your starting salary is so, so important because that 
be the benchmark for a lot of your future salaries that will be even though you want to move to another job uh, after maybe a year or two a lot of companies ask you what you were earning before and then from that they base your future salary that's also another important thing if you decide after the first year and they're giving you a raise maybe that's even so low three percent or five percent of what you're earning and you're like i can't live like this for the next year that won't be enough to sustain me through the next year you could go for the next option the next option is actually looking for another job most times in other jobs the raises uh, between 15 to 20 percent of what you're earning and with a new job of course if you've interviewed and you've got an offer and maybe they give you a 15 percent raise you can negotiate for 20 percent usually that's the range of how you can pull things and make things work for you so put that into consideration so this video is mainly for beginner side of things maybe Zero, zero to three years of work experience when you're still getting started and everything hopefully this video is a great starter uh, it's a great starter video for salaries in that range and when you're starting to 15 and don't forget negotiate 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 anyway guys that was my journey and i will try to make a lot of those resources available and yeah that is it for me for now hopefully you've enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one. Peace.